And that is a trophy right there. We are just going to take him out with a gun. That is awesome right there. A non-typical mule deer. Let's take him. Hello guys and welcome back to our Looking for Trophies series. Today we're on Timber Gold. We got some spots to fill in the lodge. I'd really like a nice elk. Uh, mule deer would also be really nice. So with that, let's get into our hunt. So for today's hunt, we brought the 7 mil. And the snake bite. So with that, wait for the music to die down. With that, I think we're going to start out at this tree stand I have set up. So with that, let's get into it. So we have a bull elk right there. And he doesn't look terrible as our first harvest. So we'll let him get closer. 250 to 450 is probably 300s, I'd imagine, maybe. We're going to take that shot. Pretty easy shot to make with a snake, but snake bite. And we dropped him. This bow is the quietest compound in the game, I believe, so wasn't too challenging. We also got mule deer coming in behind us, so we're going to have a lot of stuff on top of us pretty quickly, I believe. So as unfortunate as it is, this is the only okay mule deer that I've seen. So, oh, there's another mule deer. He doesn't look like much that's special. I don't think he is. I think this is the one we want right back here. 95 to 190. So, he'll be on the high end of that. Probably a 180s buck, I'd assume. That's the one we'll end up shooting, I think. Unless there's actually another herd coming in, which it looks like it there is. So I think we'll wait a little bit, but we'll eventually take him. So this guy now does give me a shot opportunity, so I'm going to take him. And there goes all of the mule deer. All the average bucks. Just go on. So I'm probably going to give this stand a bit more time than eventually move on with my life, but I think we got the nicest one that was around. He wasn't a really nice one, but I'll take a 180s buck for now. And that is a trophy right there. We are just going to take him out with a gun. That is awesome right there. A non-typical mule deer. Let's take him. And of course he ran off, but that is awesome. We got a non-tip. Saw a mark where I shot him. And we will go over and claim him. But let's pick up our other two animals first. So this muley, I'd say 180s. That's what I would assume. 181. Nothing special. Let's go over and pick up our elk. This guy might be high 200s, low 300s, I'd say. He's got two back tines, so probably 300s. 343. That's a lot nicer than I thought, but still nothing necessarily trophy shot worthy. And now let's go over and track down our mule deer that I thought I made a decent shot on, but I guess not. But we'll see. Let's go get him. And you can see we got lungs. And our non-tip is right up here. This is my third non-tip mule deer. And it's another big one. And this is just awesome. So let's go ahead and claim this guy. That's just awesome. So our non-tip score is 314.568. That's a really nice non-tip. Let's take a trophy shot of him. That's just awesome. And I think we'll go with that for a picture. And this guy's going right to the lodge. So that's awesome. We were able to get our first true trophy in this series. And that's a non-tip. So let's just continue this hunt as it's already off to an awesome start. I hear something. And it is a buck. So a buck just grunted right on top of us. And 
and he's really close, but I just haven't seen him yet. So I have no clue how big he is, but we got a non-tip, so I'll take a nice typical, I guess. I mean, it sounds like he's right here, but I just can't see him. So I'll try to somehow get to a spot where I can. He's right here. And he looks okay. We dropped him. So he looks solid. Probably our biggest typical of the hunt, I'd say. Probably bigger than 180. 182. So, not much bigger. But I'll take it. We got a male gray wolf out here. That I'm going to take out with a gun. I just spooked the muley that I was after, so... That's unfortunate. So we'll just take this gray wolf out with a gun. And we're going to get charged by this bear. Which is also unfortunate. And we dropped that, so it was just a female. Nothing big, but I'm more interested in the wolf anyway. So the bear scored 16.5. Just a female, so nothing special. Let's go ahead and get this wolf that we just shot. So our wolf up here is right up here. And hopefully, well he looks, I'm not sure. I can't tell. Wolves, let's just see what he is. 15.9, nothing too special. So we got a solid looking mule deer out here. And I'm going to take him out with the gun. He's right behind this tree, so we'll be able to see him soon. He looks pretty good. 150 to 245. It looks kind of like a 190s. But I haven't really gotten a good look at him yet, so we'll wait for him to step out to take the shot. And as soon as I put the gun down, he steps out, but... He's going to give us a shot soon. We did drop him. As I hoped. So let's go ahead and claim this mule deer. Alright, our buck is down right up here. And he looks pretty good. Let's see what he scores. 188, so as I thought, pretty close to 190s. He might make it into our lodge if we desperately need a mule deer, but I'm not sure. So, I think we're just going to continue on probably to this lake up here. So, we have another muley buck that's coming into us. This one is not quite as impressive as the last few. Only a 90 to 185 score estimate, and he's definitely not on the high end of that. So he stopped at 38, and I'm kind of willing to take that shot with a snake bite. I feel like I can make it. So let's see. And we dropped him. So let's go ahead and claim this guy. We did just get a cow elk call. That I'm not too interested in. But let's see what our muley score is. Probably mid to low 100s, I'd say. Definitely not high 100s. So let's pick him up. And here he is right here. So let's see what this one scores. Double long heart shot with the bow, 144, so yeah, that's about what I thought, 150s, 140s area. Kind of an average buck, but we'll take it and just keep looking for elk, because that's kind of what I really want at this point. We didn't find any nice ones on mount the 343, but if we find, it'd be nice to find one a bit bigger. But we got some elk coming in, which I'll gladly take, so I will call now. <laughs> They are already pretty close, and they're just two average bulls it looked like, so nothing really too special, but they are coming in fast. Let's take a shot on this bull. Dropped it. I want to get up on this rock so it's easier to make another shot on the second one. 
Looks like this might be just a herd or two, which is okay, but it's nice to see some bull elk. We haven't had a ton yet this hunt. Here he comes. We'll drop this guy, too. And we did. So let's go ahead and claim these two and see what they scored. Alright. Let's claim the first one we shot. He was a 262, so kind of an average bull. And this one over here is just a small bull. 100s, probably. 194, so it's a bit bigger than I thought, but we'll take it and we'll go up over to this lake and then maybe work our way up to this last lake, then go to this outpost to try to hunt around in this area for some elk. So we did find elk at this lake, but unfortunately it's not quite the gender we want, so I'm going to hit this lake up over here and then I think I'm going to fast travel to the outpost in the east and then just go up into this area over here because I mean it's pretty good for elk so let's check out this last lake and then move on with our lives I made a mistake I did miss this guy which he probably wasn't in render at first we also got a mule deer over here it looks like small buck nothing too interesting I think we'll go for the elk doesn't look like a monster, but we'll take him. And there's a solid mule deer. So I think that's what we have to shoot now. That looks really good. We gotta shoot that mule deer. It looks solid. Yeah, he definitely looks really nice. That's a really good mule deer. We dropped him. He looks like a really good mule deer. I, that might be my PB. I'm not sure. He looks a lot bigger than any, anything we've seen this hunt. So let's go ahead and claim him. He looks really good. And our mule deer is right up here. And he looked really good when I shot him. So let's just see what this guy is. 216. So I'll take a trophy shot of him. And I might send him to our lodge as well. Because that's a really solid mule deer. Alright, so I think we use that as a trophy shot. And I'll sell him for now in case we get a bigger one, but I doubt we will, so... That's awesome, we were able to get a couple trophies in this hunt. Alright, I just fast traveled, and there is a... Bull Elk right in front of me. I don't think he looked huge, but at the same time I'm not sure. All we can really do is shoot him to find out, but... He didn't look terrible. So I guess we'll just try to work our way over where we can get a nice sight line to him. And there is our bull right there. And he's got a solid frame. So let's take him out. He looks, he looks good. And we dropped him. I only think he had two back tines though, so that's really going to hurt him. But... I don't know. He looked pretty good. I think I might get in the stand for a little bit. And then we'll claim him. So, I think that's what we'll do. I think this small buck that's coming will be our last animal we kill of the hunt. He looks pretty small. But we'll take him anyway. I shot a doe after I shot the elk, but that's not too interesting. So, that will not go in the video. But he's pretty... Sad. He isn't terrible, but definitely nothing special about him. And we can't get a shot off, unfortunately. So he's going the wrong way right now for us to get a shot. Now he's right behind us, I think. No, he's not. Just shoot him in the brain. And we dropped him. Alright, let's go claim all our deer that we have laying here. We'll start with our small muley. 
we actually oh, that was the female never mind I was like how do we hit that thing in the spine but it was only the female that we somehow claimed while the males right here but the male we did make a brain shot on and he was a 104 so pretty small let's go get our nice elk and hopefully he's bigger than 343 and I think he might be 365 so he is and that honestly might go in our lodge and we'll just sell him so with that I think we'll go to our lodge right about now so here is how our new lodge looks I did decide to taxidermize the elk just because I it's the only opportunity we're gonna get at a nice rocky it isn't that big it's only a 365 but I will put it in here if we get anything nice we'll just take it out I decided to put the non tip muley on the full body mount just because I felt like that's kind of where I should have put it if I can get the thing to focus on it there we go 314.568 that's my smallest mule deer non tip I think but it's still a really nice one and you can't really complain about that and up there is our 216 muley that we shot we didn't get anything nicer than that but that's a really decent muley and I didn't expect to really get anything nicer so yeah that wraps up this one and it was a pretty awesome hunt and the first time we got some real nice animals to put in our lodge in this series so if you made it this far I want to thank everyone for watching this and I'll see you next time